electricity this morning and so far there is no estimate on when power will be restored. Meantime, thousands of businesses and homes in our local mountain communities are without power again tonight. 17's Amber Free has spent the day checking in on those who find themselves off the grid tonight and joins us with that part of our coverage this evening. Amber? Mixed feelings among residents who have been left without power. Many people I talked to today say they are frustrated with the shutoffs, and others I talked to say they would rather have power be shut off than risk another wildfire. Oh, it's miserable. I think it's ridiculous. No one likes having their power shut off, but some are more accepting of the situation than others. If this is what it's going to take for us to not be in a fire, well, I think we can cope with it. The shutoffs follow some of the state's worst wildfires. In an effort to try and prevent sparking more fires amid dry and windy weather, utility companies are shutting off power in areas with high fire danger. We have experienced some pretty incredible fires through our community that have been devastating. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think they're in good faith trying to act on behalf of our residents. It's better than uh, the alternative. Overnight, the lights went out in parts of Tehachapi, Cummings Valley, and Bright Valley. And that's not all. There's no water coming out of my faucets, bathrooms, nothing, because we are on well water. And if we, have, we don't have any power, there is no water. In Stallion Springs, the entire community lost power. This is the second massive shutoff affecting these communities. The last one lasted nearly 36 hours. This time around, many residents made sure they were prepared. I got a bucket of water and I got that ready for my pets and uh, I have that sitting in the outside of my kitchen and then I have a big pot of water just in case my kitchen counter just to wash dishes or whatever might be. I bought a new cooler that keeps food for five days. I got freezer thermometers. Uh, I have great neighbors so we're all sort of helping each other out. The only thing left is to wait for the weather to pass. I wake up, I let the dogs out <coughs> in the dark with flashlights. We come back in, we go to bed, back to bed till the sun comes up, which is not till 7. And then just try to amuse ourselves. <laughs> and make light of the situation. It's pretty miserable, so. But the World Series isn't on tonight. We have an off day, so it'll be okay. <laughs> Stallion Springs has opened a shelter in their community center for any residents in need of water, electricity, or snacks. That's located on 27800 Stallion Springs Drive. Amber Freya, 17 News.